हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सॉरी फॉर बींग इन एक्टिव फॉर सच लॉन्ग टाइम टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग अनादर प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम इज डिज़ाइन अंडरग्राउंड सिस्टम सो इट्स वेरी ईजी प्रॉब्लम लेट सी वट द प्रॉब्लम इज एंड अंडरग्राउंड रेलवे सिस्टम इज कीपिंग ट्रैक ऑफ कस्टमर ट्रेवल टाइम्स बिटवीन डिफरेंट स्टेशन दे आर यूजिंग दिस डेटा टू कल कैलकुलेट द एवरेज टाइम इट टेक्स टू ट्रेवल फ्रॉम वन स्टेशन टू अनादर implement the underground system class so class is there and it has three functions so we need to complete those functions first function is check in so in check in like this function uh, has three parameters okay and what all what all these three parameters are a customer with id equal to this id so this is the customer id checks in at the station this so this is the station name at time t so this customer checks in in this uh, in the station at time t a customer can only be checked into one place at a time so if one cust if a customer with one id can uh, at a time go to only one station okay so this was one function second function is check out in this id is the name of the customer which is checking out from this station at this time simple and lastly we have the third function which is get average time which has two uh, parameters sta start station and the end station that is we have to tell how much average time it takes to uh, reach from start station to end station average time we need to tell returns the average time it takes to travel from start station to end station average time is computed from all previous traveling times that happened directly meaning in che check in at start station followed by check out from end station so you'll understand this point when we see example right so let's see uh, this test case uh, this test case is quite long so i have taken another test case let's understand from that okay so these this is the order of functions uh, like how they are called so first uh, check in is there then again check in is there then check out check out and the uh, then we need to tell the average time so now see what is this is the id of the customer this is the station name station name and this is the time at when like this i customer with id 1 will check in at the station a at time 5 similarly a customer with id 1 will check out from station c at time 20 so if you see from here the customer with id 1 is going from a station to it's going c check out is doing from c so it's going from a station to c station and how much time it's taking first at a station time is 5 and at uh, when it is checking out so time is 20 so how much time it takes 15 20 minus 5 okay similarly uh, if you see for the second uh, this second check in this is the other other customer with id 2 it's checking in from station a so customer with id 2 is checking in from station a at what time 10 10 and it goes to where see where it is checking out it's checking out here na so here checking out from station c again and time at 30 so what is the uh, how much time it take from station a to c 30 minus 10 that is the end time minus start time that is 20 so now if we see now if we have to tell the average time it takes from station a to station c see it was like this na average time station start station end station so if it how much we need to tell how much average time it takes from station a to c so how we will calculate that think what we will do we we know that okay uh, for customer with id 1 it was taking how much time 15 and for customer with id 2 it was taking how much time to travel from a station to c 20 so average would be 15 plus 20 that is the sum of total time sum of total time or uh, sorry sum of uh, time you can say or total time okay time divided by the count we, like this only we do average right so how many customers two customers so this will be 15 plus 20 divided by 2 So it will be thirty-five by two. That is seventeen. So seventeen point five. Sorry, seventeen point five will be the uh, great uh, average time to go from station A to station C. 
okay so this is for the theory like which i have explained right this is how we will be calculating the answer but now how to think of the approach like how we will code this so see guys first of all you need to see what all values we need so see what all values we need we need this time 15 like how much time it takes from a to c 15 we need we need this 20 time uh, okay also uh, when we are uh, calculating the average like when we get this function call we need to return the average so we also need to know how many times this a to c station per people have traveled so right so that's that is the count so how we will approach this let's see that i hope you understood how this uh, like uh, what the problem is uh, so see first of all see guys here now we need to store somehow we need to store that which customer is going from which station at what time so this information is given to us right but we don't have it uh, we have to store it somehow so for that now what i will be doing i'll be i have to use a data structure obviously to store it and what i need to basically store that okay for customer 1 we need to go to like this customer 1 will be going to station a at time 5 something like this i need to store so that I, so that i can use these values okay so for this now i will be using a hash map or a map, a ordered map hash map dictionary like i'll be using a hash map so how i'll i be using a hash map let's see that i will make i will make a hash map okay in which i'll be storing key value pair obviously key value pair key will be the id number id and value will be a pair of station name and the time station name and the time okay so see first of all what is uh, here first of all we go here whenever i'm checking out, checking in right whenever i'm checking in i'm storing this values so first of all uh, one id is going from a station at time 5 right then we again we get to check in so customer with id 2 is going from station a at time 10 fine now third call is the checkout so now what we need to do when we are checking out we will not store obviously this information what we need to do is when we are checking like when a customer is checking out we need to we need to know how much time it took from that ending station and the starting station so for that also that storage right we need to store that somewhere so for that also i'll be making a map i'll be using a map hash map you will understand right where, why we are using these but this is how we have to think of the solution okay uh, here also key value pair will be there key will be the station starting station to end station like how much time we are taking like the person the train how much time it's taking from station starting station to ending station so here at checkout see here at checkout how you will find out now how you will find out see this checkout is there for customer what one customer we will check when this customer has checked in this customer one we will use this map now this customer one has checked in from station a so starting station is a at what time you can say start time is 1 uh, is 5 this is start time so see from this uh, i can from this map i will i will use this id so i will like let's say name this map as m so m and i will write id so i'll get this pair right a comma 5 so from this pair i will this will be my first value and this will be my second value so now we know that what was the starting station and the starting time and the ending station is what this c only and ending time is what 20 so now starting station to ending station starting station is a and we will store it like this we can store it as string so key will be string key will be a string right uh, in which we will have starting station separated by underscore or you can use hyphen you can use anything right any identifier you can use so uh, here and value will be ending station minus starting station because here value will be the time taken to travel from that starting station to end station time taken okay so a to c so time taken will be what 20 minus 5 which is 
now guys if you remember if you remember we also required the count that how many times we are traveling like uh, all the customers are traveling from a station to c because average we need to do na with that value so here we will be storing in the value na we will be storing a pair pair will be the time taken and the count so 15 comma 1 okay i hope you understood this point now let's see how uh, further so this was for checkout right whenever we are checking in we are storing in this and if we check out so we are storing in this second map so now let's see ahead here see here now again we go to checkout now it is checkout for second customer so second uh, customer with id 2 so id 2 customer was uh, starting station was a right and the end, uh, starting time was 10 and ending station is what ending station is c c and start ending time is what 30 so here i will store starting station underscore ending station and the time taken is 30 minus 10 20 comma now see guys what i am doing i am making another key right but obviously this will not be another key here it will get updated in this key only so what we will do see this 20 is the time for the second customer so this time will add in this first one 15 plus 20 that is the total time 15 plus 20 this will be 35 so here it will be 35 and count will be 2 okay count will be 2 so this key was already existing na so it will update here only now see now we go to say, uh, the this call here we have to return the time taken average time taken from station a to c now see you just guess how you will find it out we already have this map right from here we will see this key a to c station we will find we will take the total time 35 and we'll divide it by the count which is 2 so 17.5 we get so i hope you understood the approach and the dry run we are be taking two maps one for the check in and one for the check out and we'll be finding the average time let's see the code once it will become more clear and highly recommend just dry run once so it becomes more clear see here what i am doing is i have taken a map okay check in map i am uh, this is check in for check in right this map and then the second map i am taking to storing for storing the average time and the count uh, uh, total time and the count so whenever we are checking in for this id i am storing the station name and the time taken so station uh, station name and the time taken when we are checking out now see this is important when we are checking out so we will see for this id when it checked in whenever it checked in you can erase that key so that your hash map does not exceed your storage and everything so, so in order to uh, uh, just uh, make it store, uh, optimize so you can erase it also then uh, we'll be finding out the path what is the like uh, starting station this is starting station and the ending station this is the ending station right and then we'll be uh, we'll be storing the time taken we'll be adding the current value so here we will make 35 and we'll increase the count by 1 for that particular path from starting station to end station and whenever we have to do average time we will find out for that station starting station underscore ending station this a to c because we'll have this ac right we'll find out we'll make this string a underscore c and we'll find out in the map and we will get the total time and the count so total time will be first and it will be uh, uh, count will be second so we'll divide it and we'll get the average time so i hope you understood the problem and the approach time complexity very simple uh, check in it's o of 1 we are just adding in the ma uh, map okay um and uh, uh, i'm just uh, yeah, okay and this also here just adding only so this is constant time only okay so uh, i hope you understood the problem and the approach let me know in the comments if you have any doubt if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you